In this tutorial video, we're going to look at how to use NLP, uh, machine learning, learning for natural language processing on one of your bots. So if we go to my bots and to our test bot, uh, we can see, we'll go with our first uh, interaction here. If we go to connections, once you have your NLP set up, which we go over in another tutorial video, uh, you'll be able to hit AI connection. And we just open this up. And for uh, type, we will do entity. And we will look for negative words. And then for go to, let's add a new interaction over here. A bot statement and we'll rename this one negative and for the message we'll put sorry you don't seem to be having a good time would you like to chat to a live person and then uh, what we want to happen is that if they type in, oh, we go down here, if the response contains yes, what we want to do is send them to email human. Now, if we go back to our first interaction, and our AI connection, if the entity in English language contains negative words, then go to email human. Now, what we can do is test this. And if we go over here, would you like to know more? This sucks. I hate it. Or do you like to chat with a live person? So, and if we just do uh, an answer without negative sentiment, uh, you can see that it goes to another thing. So the AI, the natural language processing, is smart enough to know whether something that people are typing in is uh, negative, positive, or, or so on. Um, if we open this back up, we can see there's different NLP models that you can use. Uh, the NLP can detect locations, people, companies, negative, positive, and so on and so forth. Money, percent, time. Uh, the cool thing is you can set these up on your own and train it, but uh, these are the, just the default models that are available and they're super helpful, uh, especially the negative words and positive words. So if you want to use machine learning and natural language processing in your bot, that's how you set it up on Snatchbot.